Yo, what is going on, everyone? My name is Nick, or The Notorious Fancy, and welcome back yet again to Murder Your Bookie, the greatest, greatest gambling podcast in the whole world. In this video, we are going to be discussing multiple picks for the NFL season, talking about week number two. Now, obviously, this is a new face here. Lucas is gone for unforeseen circumstances. He may be back next week, may not be, but this is going to be the guest for the week. We are going to be talking about Lucas's picks, though, because we are in a contest up against those frauds over at Bagels and Locks. We are going to destroy those frauds. We are going to demolish them because we are the sharpest ones here. Me and Lucas, Tyler, also extra sharp like a knife in Gordon Ramsay's kitchen. So we are going to get right into it. But before we do, I would like to you guys to introduce yourself, Tyler, to the audience. Hi, I'm Tyler. Hopefully you guys have seen me uh, a couple times on the channel. If you're new here, welcome to um, me making terrible picks and you guys somewhat believing me. I, I'd appreciate if you did. I'm not good at this. I'm under the age. So this is technically illegal. We're doing illegal things over here. I'm not actually betting these. Uh, you really should because I'm confident in them. Tyler Moss, NFL on Twitter, the sporter dot site. You see that it's cooking over there in the corner. That's our, one of our logos or secondary logo. Go check it out. It'd mean a lot. We got betting articles over there as well. All sports and a lot of fantasy based content to help you win your leagues as well as follow Nick, like comment, all that fun stuff for him. He's grinding over here. I'm ready to kick this video off. All right, let's get right into it. So we are going to begin with my first pick of the video here. And we are going to be talking about the Lions going up against the Green Bay Packers. Now, last week, the Lions fell an ultimate demise. I had them money line to beat the... Uh, the fucking Bears, and they just did not because DeAndre Swift has butter fingers, but now they're going up against the Green Bay Packers, a team that they always play very close to, and they always hit them with the cover on the Packers. So Lions plus six and a half, minus 110 is going to be my pick, the first pick of many. I like the Lions in this game. I really think Matt Stafford is going to be pissed off that DeAndre Swift dropped that ball. He's going to walk into the locker room, just absolutely smack the shit out of DeAndre Swift and make him – Fear for his life if he does not catch the ball. And I think that Matt Stafford is going to play well in this game up against the Lions, especially if Kenny Galladay is healthy. Now, right now, we have no idea if Galladay will play on Sunday. But in my humble opinion, as a fake doctor, I believe that Kenny Galladay will play. And I believe that this boosts up the Lions. I think the Lions are just good enough to not win the game, but get close enough to where you're like, holy shit, the Lions might win. For that to happen. And also, if you get the Lions at plus seven, I would prefer that due to the fact that even if they lose by seven, then you're just kind of drawing, you get your money back. But plus six and a half, I'm feeling confident in this game. I think it's going to be close. Matt Prater will be able to keep it close. So I like the Lions plus six and a half here over the Packers. What are your thoughts on the Lions potentially getting close or beating the Packers? Yeah, they're not going to beat them. Uh, the Packers looked incredible last week, and they're going to look incredible again against a really bad cornerback team. Um, very injured on the defensive end as well as just bad. Um, this is a crazy pick, and I'm going to let you roll with it. It's your show. I'm not here to insult you. You're, you're your own man. You're making your own picks. Nick is betting all of his picks, by the way, so do not call him a fraudulent for a, a fraud or whatever, whatever you want to say because he's betting all these with you. So if you don't bet these and he wins, he's going to gloat. And if you bet these, know that he's also doing it with you. He full sends all of his picks, so good job. I'll praise you for that, but I'm not going to praise you for this pick. This is apeshit fucking crazy. I think the Packers are fucking going to roll all over the Lions. Uh, I would smash that if my picks weren't already set. Um, but I don't know. The Lions are always a weird team. They, they could pull it within a couple points. It's a division game, so it uh, could be close. I'm not going to hate the pick, but I do think the Packers are, are definitely going to cover that. Yeah, just to note, last week – Lucas went a complete 4-0, and and he got his lock correct. Obviously, that's the fourth pick. And I went 2-2, two and two, but I did get the lock correct, so you can believe in me. I am not a fraud over here. We're getting these locks in, and we are going to be talking about them later. So now, next pick, we're going to hear Tyler talk about his first pick. Yeah, so my first pick is kind of a shocker when I looked at it because I'm like, I think the Vikings are going to bounce back in this game. Uh, they're at – are, oh goodness are they at home i have to i have to look that up but either way uh god that makes my pick sound fraudulent don't worry about it uh i'm going vikings um plus three to go ahead and take care of the colts this week the colts look very vanilla very very bad last week uh i'm not really all that confident that this team is is ready to go um they just really came out very shorthanded last week the jacksonville team uh kind of took care of them took care of business the team just didn't come out looking good, and I really don't expect that to continue. I think the Vikings did look good. The defense was just kind of rough. 
Uh, the Colts offense really wasn't looking good. So I think this is a very solid matchup for a really bad defense in, in Minnesota. And their, their run stuffing is really great. Uh, it's probably the best part of their defense. I think they're going to take care of business and taking care of that, eliminating that, making Phillip Rivers have to make plays against the corners. And while the cornerbacks are weak, and I think Phillip Rivers will be able to take care of business, um, to some extent, I really can't see this team uh, closing it out. I think the Vikings will go ahead and take care of this one on the road. Uh, plus three here. I think it's a pretty pretty safe bet, in all honesty, for, for a team that's the underdog. Yeah, just so you guys know, I do have a parlay in this video that I'm going to be talking about that does involve the Vikings beating the Colts plus three. So I agree with the pick. I think the Vikings will look good here. Now, obviously, they had no chance against the Packers. The Packers just railroaded them, and they kind of just trailed behind them, kind of like when your big brother's playing like a fucking video game. He's dominating, and the little brother's just following around, kind of like that. I don't have a big brother. I'm the big brother in the family. But with that said, that is also a TV show. I like the Vikings here to beat the Colts outright. I also like them plus three. Three. Now we're going to Lucas's pick. He's not here to give it, but we shall give it for you. The Cowboys over the Falcons minus four and a half. Now this seems like a lock to me, but he didn't put it as a lock because I think that the Falcons here are going to be able to follow with them, right? They're going to keep it close, but it's going to be because the Cowboys railroad them early in the game and they're just trying to come back kind of like what the, we saw with the Vikings and the Green Bay Packers last week or what we saw with the Falcons last week going up against the Seahawks. The Seahawks were clearly in the driver's seat all game and then they were kind of just kind of struggling behind. So I think the Falcons are going to be able to not – get or to get close but not close enough in order to with their plus four and a half to win so I like the Cowboys here minus four and a half do you think that the Atlanta Falcons could potentially even win this game or win with the plus four and a half yeah I, I think they can win it I, I you know and they can they can definitely get close but I mean when you're coming to betting and you're trying to make the safest pick to, to help you win it Cowboys playing at home uh you know the home field advantage is iffy but when it comes to this kind of thing travel does take it into account um, I think they, the Falcons can win. I would say it's about a 20% chance. Uh, I think the Cowboys are coming out angry. Um, I think it's going to be a shootout. So it kind of makes it interesting. I think there will, if you're, if you're hitting the over under, I'm not sure where it's set, but definitely go for it because this, this could seriously be an interesting situation where there's just points all over the place. Um, yeah, I'm okay with this pick. I, I, I do love bashing the Cowboys, but I can't bash this pick. Lucas, very good selection for your first one. All right, now we are back to my picks. We're going to go here with my pick. We're going money line Saints to beat the Oakland, not Oakland, the Las Vegas Raiders on Monday night. Now, obviously, this line is going to get a little bit closer. I took the money line, but it's going to get closer for one reason, and that is because Michael Thomas isn't playing. But I personally don't believe it matters at all. That Las Vegas Raiders defense looks atrocious. Um, we saw Robbie Anderson put a doo-doo straight on their chest last week like their name was Odell Beckham Jr., another Odell joke. I love the Saints here in this matchup up against the Raiders. I think Carr will be able to play quite decent. But we saw the Saints absolutely murder, just like you're going to murder your bookie, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and little boy Tom Brady. So I think that the uh, the Saints are going to easily be able to beat the the Raiders on Monday night. I don't think the Saints are those one of those kind of teams that will look ahead. They won't be like, you know what, this is a Monday night game, but fuck it, let's look out next week. They don't do that. They're not like the Eagles who looked straight past the Washington football team last week. So I like the Saints over the Raiders straight up. What do you think about that? Yeah, it's 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 a solid pick. Um, I think if you go the other way, it's it's like putting Joe Mixon in your lineup against the Cleveland Browns. Like, what are you doing? You're ignorant as fuck. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> So sorry, Joe Mixon people. Uh, we It's Thursday night, and we both have already had our cry sessions about Joe Mixon. But I really do like this pick. Saints going over the Raiders. Uh, yeah, I mean, sure, it's the, it's the first game in Las Vegas, so it's going to be hot. Stadium's going to be roaring. I'm really excited to see uh, SoFi, right? It's interesting. Yeah. Uh, should be a good stadium. Uh, should not be a good game. I think the Saints are going to roll. Uh, defense, O-line, it, that's, that's always, you know, priority for the Saints, and it, it looks really, really good. It's much better than the Raiders. Uh, running game is, is fairly even, but the the O line O lines are they're both top five O lines to me. So I think the running yeah. game is going to be very efficient. Uh, but who's going to get after the passer? Who's going to make more defensive stops? It's going to be the Saints. Wide receiver does not have too much of an effect in my eyes. Drew Brees is a good enough quarterback. He's going to get the ball where he wants to. Yeah, I like it. Eight and a half is interesting. I mean, it's tight. No, that that one's not eight and a half. What's what's the money line on that one? Money line, you dumbass, just means straight up. So the Raiders straight up lose to the Saints. The Saints will win straight up. Okay. Hey, hey, 
I'm an experienced. I'm a child. I, I don't know why I was given this spot, but you know what? I'm rolling. I feel smart. Yeah, straight up, the Saints are going to win this game. That's easy. All right, cool. We're doing yeah, it. Straight, right. straight up. Now, before we go to Tyler's next pick, I want to ask you guys to just go down below if you have enjoyed and hit that subscribe button. I do this every single week. I make fantasy videos. I assume if you gamble, you also play fantasy football. And I hope that you guys enjoyed. I hope you had a fun time because that's really what matters. They have a fun time. Take the picks at your own risk. Understand that gambling could cause other issues in your life obviously don't fucking bet too much money don't bet the second mortgage if you don't have the money for it even though that's what i do so stay responsible don't be silly wrap your willy tyler what is your next pick for the video yeah so my next pick is uh another interesting kind of situation it was very very close i think there's there's i don't really see it finishing within one and a half uh, i don't see it finishing within one point or two points whatever vegas is wanting me to bet it's fucking silliness one and a half point spread i'm gonna take the plus I'm going to take the Rams, upsetting the Eagles. Very, very upset. Eagles look terrible uh, against the Redskins. Oh, shit, I did that. Whoops. The the Washington the football team, you yeah, motherfucker. Um, yeah, it might be if I offended anyone. Uh, yell at me in the comments. Your comments actually help the video, so please do that. Um, yeah, I'm going to go I'm gonna go Rams taking this one. The, the O-line looked atrocious for the Eagles. And uh, something to note about the Rams is they have a really good O-line, a D-line. That's uh, brought to you by Aaron Donald, the best D lineman in the league. Uh, he's going to eat. There's a good enough chance we'll see seven plus sacks. It sounds insane. It's going to happen. Rams are going to destroy this team. They're not going to move the ball effectively. Miles Sanders will not be given the volume he needs. The Eagles are realizing week three, they're fucked. If they don't start pounding the ball to Miles Sanders, Miles Sanders will have all blowout weeks after that. But this week is just not happening because I bet the Rams. So the Eagles aren't doing shit this week. That's what happens. Rams, uh, underdog, full send that one. Let's go. I don't even understand how they are the underdog. They literally won last week. Yeah, they looked good last week, and the Eagles looked really bad last week. Yeah, I, I agree with what you said. Aaron Donald's going to put fucking Carson Wentz's tiny ass straight in a hearse, sending him home. All right, he's not going to do anything. The Rams are going to dominate the Eagles. I personally believe this. I don't think the Eagles are any good. The Eagles are fraudulent unless they play the Dallas Cowboys then they are going to win in that case. So I like the Rams here in this game. I like Jared Goff to play big. I like Malcolm Brown to score 7,000 fucking touchdowns because the Eagles are fraudulent. What is Darius Slay going to do against the Rams? What's he going to do? Shut, shut down Cooper Cup? Shut down uh, Robert Woods? Then you know I know who's going to come out of nowhere? Van fucking Jefferson or whatever his name is because that guy's a god. He blew up last week. So I like, what a great. I like the Rams here to beat the Eagles straight up. It's not his lock, but it could be a lock. Next here, we're going to be talking about one of Lucas's picks, his other pick, before we get into Lucas, or we're going to, it's almost lock season, like uh, the quarterback, horse cock drew lock. We're going to be talking about here the Colts beating the Vikings minus three and a half. Now, he's on the other side here. We just talked about the Vikings over the Colts, so we are going to disagree with this pick. We have kind of already talked about it. I don't think that the Colts are going to be able to do something because you know what happens? Phillip Rivers is going to happen. That motherfucker is good for the first three, whatever, how many, for many minutes. So the first three quarters of the game and then the fourth quarter that guy just sucks all right he's very good at closing with his wife because he has 11 kids but he's not very good at closing the nfl football game the colts are going to lose here to the vikings i don't think they're going to be able to cover the spread i don't think this game if they win maybe they win by three and then it's just like a wrap you know it doesn't even count you just get your money back so with that said i don't think the colts are going to be able to beat the vikings i don't even think the colts are going the colts are definitely not going to cover in this game so we already talked about it earlier quick thoughts again on the colts beating the vikings which we don't think is going to happen i think i think lucas is hitting the uh the corn liquor a little too hard over there in iowa um i'm not really sure what this is really about uh he can come at after me for bashing this pick because i don't give a shit it's a terrible pick <laughs> Colts suck major donkey cock. I was so full send on them uh, preseason. I was like, Colts are winning like 40 games. They're going <laughs> to figure out how to get a couple more extra games on the schedule and they're going to take care of business. But yeah, no, I'm going Vikings. Angry, angry Vikings taking this one. And Vegas is probably going to eat my lunch when they, when they don't win it. But that's okay. I'll cry about it later. All right, now before we get into the locks of the week, I'm going to give you guys my parlay of the week, the bet your mortgage. Now, last week, the parlay was so bad that not even one leg of it hit. The 49ers got demolished. The Colts demolished, all right? So I don't believe in the Colts anymore. If Gardner Minshew can derail you, so can Mr. You like that, Kirk Cousins. So here's the parlay real quick, read it out to you. The Los Angeles Rams versus the Philadelphia Eagles under 
45 and a half points. Washington versus the Arizona Cardinals under 47 and a half points. Minnesota plus three and a half over the Indianapolis Colts. Buffalo minus six over Miami. Now we're Dolphins fans. Very sad if we lose by six. But it could just be okay because the Dolphins will play two of the next week. And the San Francisco 49ers minus seven and a half over the New York football Jets on a parlay gets you plus two grand, 2.5 grand. You're going to bet the mortgage on this. You are going to take out the second mortgage. You are going to sell your child into the black market and you are going to win. You're going to win enough money to buy multiple children. With that said, don't actually do that, but I like this pick. What do you say? I mean, uh, price per kid is, is, is dependent on where you're getting them from. Uh, so yeah, I could understand that. Um, most people do it the traditional way. They put the baby on the, uh, the firehouse, uh, porch <laughs> and they, they take them like that. I don't know if that's just a movie thing. Some people like the stork method. Sometimes the stork brings you a child. Uh, so Nick, maybe don't buy kids. Maybe just uh, wait that one out. Um, I do like a lot of these matchups. However, I think, uh, Arizona has a good chance of putting up 47 points themselves. So, uh, they, <laughs> they may roll Washington. This is a team where I think, uh, that's kind of built to beat a Washington front seven, uh, defensively. I mean, yeah. they're going to get the ball out quick. They're going to do it often. DeAndre Hopkins run a lot of slams, a la Michael Thomas. Uh, Kyler Murray can actually get out of the pocket. Um, Arizona's line is bad, but they don't just, like, watch people run past them, a la the Eagles. Um, <laughs> I like the Buffalo game. Yeah, Buffalo's going to roll us, and I'm excited to see it. I hope we get murdered. I hope we get trounced upon. I hope we end up with a number, like, two pick, and we get an elite left tackle, and we throw him next to that kid out of uh, – out of uh, USC that we shouldn't have picked, which was such a great pick. Awesome. Jim. <laughs> wow. What a great pick that was. Oh, we're so excited. Watch that video from like months ago and just see how excited we all were. Yeah, I mean, uh, he has so much raw talent, Tyler. Don't yeah, you understand? Oh, yeah. I can't wait to see that. Yeah. Raw talent. Yeah. Huh? Hmm, all right. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm getting angry on camera. And then, yeah, the San Francisco pick. And, you know, I'll go ahead and break that into my next pick, which is my lock because it's such an easy lock. And it's your lock too because it's like it's going to happen. I mean, six and a half for 49ers to beat the Jets. I mean, the, the, hold up. The 49ers lost last week close against a division rival. They're yeah. furious. They're going to be pissed. And the Jets are going to get murdered because their team is terrible. They have no running back. Their quarterback's team <laughs> goes. Their coach is doing lines of coke in the, in the locker room. Like, I'm, I'm like, there's no consistency with this team, and we won't see any consistency. This team's on its way to an 0-16 finish. They're going to get T-Law, and T-Law's going to die on their team, or he's going to pull an Eli Manning, and he's going to get transferred out somewhere else. Like, that's going to happen. The Jets are horrible, and they're going to get rolled by the 49ers. Yeah, six and a half. You have to, fuck yeah. Jesus yeah, Christ. I Bet the mortgage on that one. Exactly. Like the fucking the Jets. Come on. Like even the 49ers legitimately have me at wide receiver going out there. They have Mohamed Sanu. They have no one. And they are still going to bend the New York football Jets over. It does not matter. I promise you. It doesn't matter who's on the team. George Kittle could sit down and that other random guy that is also huge, that is a tight end on their team, will come in there and dominate. Kyle Juszczyk will run for 7,000 yards. Raheem Mostert will tattoo his name on the Jets defense's ass, right? Adam Thielen, not Adam Thielen, Adam Gale will be doing so much booger sugar that he may pass out on the sideline. I love the New York football Jets to get rolled in this game. I think the 49ers just dominate them. I don't even think that this is going to be a close matchup. I don't even think you need to watch this one. You don't even need to sweat it. You turn it off. You go to sleep. You wake up with a brand new fucking house because you bet the mortgage on this. You win big. It is a lock. The 49ers are just too good. The Jets are just too bad. It's not even actually that the 49ers are too good. I don't even love Jimmy Garoppolo, but Jimmy Garoppolo is a handsome man. And that handsomeness will just destroy that ugly motherfucker, Sam Darnold. He is going to be seeing ghosts like Tyler said. He is not going to be seeing a big money paycheck a couple of years from now when he needs that fifth year option. The only thing he's going to be seeing is the goddamn streets because he is useless. He is a garbage quarterback. The 49ers win this game big. Oh, huge. With, with that said, into Lucas's lock. This is a pick that I also liked, but I did not pick in the game because I didn't want to double up on the pick a la Tyler. But this is the Chiefs over the Chargers minus eight and a half is his lock. This is a lock in my opinion as well. I also bet this game. I think the Chiefs bend the Chargers over and roll them. Their defense, oh, they have a good defense, right? Who gives a fuck if they have a good defense? They couldn't, they barely stopped A.J. Green last week and A.J. Green stops himself, okay? 
The Chiefs are going to win this game. They're going to win big. It's not going to be close. Eckler is going to score some fancy points. Keenan Allen will score some fancy points. But Terod Taylor is going to leave this thing in a hearse. He is going to die. The Chiefs are going to win this game by a million. I think Patrick Mahomes gets lifted off like he won the Super Bowl or get lifted off like the Jets kicker when he scored 12 field goals against the Dolphins and they thought they won the Super Bowl. So with that said, I like the Chiefs here over the Chargers. Minus eight and a half, Lucas's lock of the week. Yeah, don't mind it. I mean, that's just that. That's just we're trying to rack up points because those those dumbasses that get high and eat bagels think they can make good choices on what to bet. I mean, come bunch on, of idiots! Like a bunch of a bunch of fucking goons. I mean, they're a bunch of fucking clowns. I hope they're I hope they're watching this. I hope they're sulking uh, in their bagels. I don't know New York people with their bagels. It's fucking ridiculous. Like fucking ridiculous. I I don't, I don't really get it. I go to Publix. Yeah, I'm in Florida. I go to Publix. I get my own fucking you know. I get what, what, whatever the fuck. I don't even care. It's not, it doesn't even matter. Bagels aren't important. Anyways, uh, it kind of sidetracked there. It's a good pick. It's, it's a safe pick. It's uh, we want to win this dub. We're going to win it hard. We're going to play dirty. We're going to take easy games like this. Lucas is ready. We eating a W. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, oh. I'll let Jameis, who's not allowed in Publix. <laughs> I'll steal a crab legs. I'll I work at Publix. I'll I want to quit my job. Just kidding. Let's roll. <laughs> I'll uh, go Tigers. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys had a great time because I had a great time recording it, as did Tyler. Maybe at a shitty time. I have no idea. But we were fired up. We're ready to go. We're ready to roll, as Stu Finer would say. Lick clit, eat ass, fuck raw. I think that's what he says. Beach and then 30 minutes of fucking. Come on there. Exactly. 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 And you're not going to need any booger sugar to watch the Jets get rolled. We're going to win all the money. We're going to murder your bookie. We're going to have a great goddamn time on Sunday. So I hope you guys do end up enjoying this video. If you did, again, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. While you're down there, there's this cool link for a website called thesporter.site. Check that out as well, as well as Tyler's link that is going to be down there, as well as the shit that's on the screen. Again, check out Tyler's website. If you want to hit him up on Twitter, you can even probably write for his website. So, Tyler, just talk about that real quick, and then we're going to skedaddle out of here. Yeah, I appreciate that, Nick. So, yeah, we're all sports. We're actively looking for a lot more betting content. Uh, for any of you guys that are out here in the betting content, um, give me a shout, Tyler Moss NFL, or you can email me. I'm not actually going to shoot my email out there, but Tyler Moss NFL on Twitter. You can find me there. Um, maybe leave a comment on this video, and I'll access you there as well. Uh, if you do not have Twitter, so that's no worries. Um, yeah, we're looking for writers and everything. I'm talking basketball, uh, NFL obviously is cooking right now, fantasy wise, but lots of betting based stuff. We're looking for baseball, hockey, anything you want to write about. Uh, there's no extreme schedule with it. You write to what you want to write about. You write when you want to write. Cause I don't want to put pressure on you. It's all about the passion of sports. It's all we're about there. Uh, we're growing rapidly. We've seen a lot of great views in the past recent days. We're growing. We're loving it. Nick's been great in helping uh, help support us. It's been fantastic. We're having a great time. Uh, but yeah, that, that's what we're all about. So definitely reach out to us. I appreciate you, Nick, for letting me on the show, even though my betting takes are terrible. Kiss your sisters for me, everyone in the crowd. Uh, that's Tyler Moss saying good night. Good night, everyone. And uh, good night to uh, Snacks and Animal, who are going to get demolished by me and Lucas. Tyler's pick doesn't count against him, but he's going to murder them as well. Bullshit. Have a great rest of your guys' day. I will see you guys next week in this show, but I'll see you guys tomorrow if you want some fantasy content as well. Good luck on Sunday. Let's murder your bookie. How are we going to do this this week? How are we going to murder them? What are we going to do? We're going to tie them up and put them on a railroad like it's in Red Dead Redemption. Have a great rest of your guys' day. Goodbye.